What we know as the Brazilian steakhouse is actually a cultural way of cooking called churrasco. It first became popular in the 1800s when Brazilian cowboys, also known as gauchos, spent their day herding and slaughtering cattle and other animals and then grilled that meat over an open fire at night with their family and friends. The meat was always prepared simply, usually with only salt as seasoning and roasted slowly on a homemade spit. We had the chance to visit Gaucho Urbano, a Brazilian steakhouse in Pigeon Forge, and we saved up our appetite all day long so we could chow down on their Gaucho experience. It's $46.50 per person and includes 16 all-you-can-eat meat cuts, unlimited trips to the salad bar and chef's hot table, and sides. The 16 cuts of meat were way more than we actually bargained for, and we didn't quite make it through all of them. Our top picks were the filet, ribeye, and teriyaki chicken, but honestly y'all, it was all delicious. For anyone who hasn't been to a Brazilian steakhouse, we wanted to give you our top five tips to get the most out of your experience. First, and maybe most important, is come hungry. We came for dinner that night and had a light breakfast and lunch earlier in the day so that we had a big appetite when we arrived. Uh, Be adventurous. There will be cuts of meat brought to your table that you may have never tried before. This is a great time to try new things because they give you a little piece at first, and if you don't like it, no worries, just move on. And if you do like it, they'll come back around and you can enjoy some more. If you've never been to a Brazilian steakhouse, they give you these little cards here. Red means no meat, green means yes, bring meat, but just beware, we just got like five meats at a time, so you better be changing this. Take your time. This is the kind of experience you're supposed to savor. It's not the Golden Corral buffet line, so get your sides and your salad, a few cuts of meat, and enjoy it. Remember that you're not just paying for the food, but you're also paying for the experience. And don't overdo it. This may contradict our first tip, but we know it's tempting to want to try absolutely everything. And that was our goal too. But once we got to our 10th or 11th cut of meat, we were full. We listened to our bodies and stopped eating, and we were okay with that. So don't overdo it, savor the moment and the meal, and when you're full, it's okay. The Brazilian Steakhouse experience, while amazing, certainly isn't something we'd do every night for dinner. But it is super cool the first time, and a great option for date night or special occasions. Yes, um, I'll do medium also. Chicken, lamb, some kind of rib, I don't know. Pork. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, please. Nice. Thank you. Gaucho Urbano for a wonderful experience. The atmosphere was top-notch, the food was delicious, and we couldn't have asked for anything more.